Good afternoon on this beautiful Memorial Day. I hope everyone that was able to see my post was, you know, gave that moment of silence this morning and give thanks to all of our fallen heroes as well as, you know, the families and friends who have lost uh, and dealt with that sacrifice that was given. So with that being said, I'm going to get into the market update. We have May 8th through the 14th, and I'm doing about a three-week time span just to show you the shift. So we have 40.2% on that second week of May and you can see because the week before that it was like i believe 35 or 34 percent active uh, compared to newly listed for the week so which this isn't crazy i mean it's good we need something like that so we jump up a little bit to 43.6 and we have more listings we have 332 that week while 174 under contract and seven closed you also have to look at the fact that you had Mother's Day that just finished up, you know, kids that are getting ready to get out of school, and you have the weather warming up. So if you look over here, I have taken from Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae their average 30-year uh, mortgage rate since 1974. In 2008, we had the crash, and it actually lasted a lot longer than just 2008 because everyone had to get those laws and regulations and processes in place so it doesn't repeat itself. So when you have the Fed hike up a little bit on the interest rates, um, that doesn't mean that it's, it's going to crash. It means that it's going to help normalize again. And we're going to get back to, you know, like 2017, 2018 to where you know, houses may sit on the market for longer, but it's nothing to, you know, go crazy about. You have 43.6 on this side, and around that time, I believe it was a little over 5%. So then you have last week. We jump up to 64.6%. So before you start, you know, going, oh my God, the market has shifted. Yes, it has, but there's also other factors that came into play. Guess what? We we have right now, which is the 30th, we have Memorial Day. So Memorial Day weekend, all that stuff, you have people that are leaving town. You have 249 homes that got listed. 81 of those went under contract and five closed that were off market. When you have the weather changing, everyone's going on vacation as soon as they possibly can. Everyone's wanting to go to the beach or the mountains. They want to do everything that they can. Our percentage is going to increase. But at the same time, it we do have to have those conversations with our sellers and sellers with your agents to ensure you're being informed about how the market is and the processes of how we market and merchandise and sell your home in an actual normal market. Your home may not go under contract within two days. It may not go under contract within four days. And that's okay. That is actually absolutely fine. What we had was insanity. I mean, really, it was just, it was crazy. This market, I appreciate, I feel more comfortable with just because People can actually breathe and also take in all the factors. So you have the holidays, you have summer coming, and guess what? You have still a lot of buyer fatigue. It was two years worth of people who were actually just trying to throw money at people just to get in and still getting beaten out. You know, 50, 60, 80,000 over asking with appraisal gaps and uh, waiving contingencies, all that, and they were still getting beaten out. And that's insanity, in my opinion. We're seeing a lot of that changing. With all this being shown here and over here, please be patient. Also talk with your agent uh, just to ensure that, you know, you are getting all the information that you need and know how this market is and how to handle it. Thank you. And I will see you next Monday.